German invasion of Poland began on September the 1st, 1939. In response, Britain and France declared war on Germany and later its ally, Italy. During the next two years, German forces were victorious, invading Denmark and Norway, Belgium, the Netherlands, Luxembourg, France, Yugoslavia and Greece. The Nazis had a plan for German society which valued sameness and not diversity. Their goal was to make Germany exclusively racially superior and they had an ideal image of a German citizen. Strong and healthy, fair skinned, blonde haired and blue eyed. Nazi ideology stated that not all humans were equal. Some were even considered subhuman if they did not fit the ideal. The Nazis hated anyone that was different, including those who fitted their idea of normality but had different views or thoughts which did not adhere to Nazi ideology. Groups that did not fit this ideology were singled out for persecution and deliberate mass extermination through constructed killing centres such as Auschwitz and Birkenau in Poland. In these camps alone, between 1940 and 1945, the Nazis deported at least 1,300,000 people for being different. These included 1,100,000 Jews, 150,000 Poles, 23,000 Gypsies, 15,000 Soviet prisoners of war, and 23,000 prisoners from other ethnic groups. Often unreported is that an estimated 10 to 15,000 people were deported to concentration camps for being gay using the pre-existing legislation Paragraph 175. Many, but not all, were assigned pink triangles. Most died in the camps, often from exhaustion. Many were castrated, and some subjected to other gruesome medical experiments. Collective murder actions were undertaken against gay detainees, exterminating hundreds at a time. After the war, the Allies chose not to remove the Nazi men in Paragraph 175. Neither they, nor the new German states, nor Austria would recognise homosexual prisoners as victims of the Nazis, a status essential to qualify for reparations. Indeed, many gay men continued to serve their prison sentences.